Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be a really chill day. We're going to like this souvenir place where we have to drive forever to get to our hotel. And then we're going to some souvenir place. That is all we're doing today. We're just gonna go there and buy some shit because it's supposed to be like a lot cheaper than it is at other places. So that's when we're gonna go and buy all our knickknacks and gifts for people and what the fuck else. Where am I going? Five, right here. So this vlog might not be as exciting as other vlogs because it's not a whole lot, but I will try my best. We stopped at this little souvenir shop and Caitlin, I finally found something for you and I think you're gonna like it. But, uh, oh, nope, it's not over there. There's a thing over there. I was gonna mention, I've been meaning to mention this for days and I keep forgetting. Being here for this past week has convinced me to do several things. One is to uh, try harder in learning my Spanish, because I've been trying, but being here has motivated me to try like even harder and to push it so that I can get it. And two, to get my motorcycle license when I get back. Because everybody here drives a fucking motorcycle and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. There are motorcycles everywhere and I really want one. Three is to fucking exercise more. Because we had to walk up so many fucking mountains and so many hills and there's just so much walking and I was always tired and it just made me feel really weak and frail. But also, I was gonna mention as well I keep thinking about my nose and how red it is and I just keep feeling really dumb and I've realized that no matter how many times in my entire life that I get burnt on my nose, I will never remember to put on a second coat of sunscreen on my face. It will never happen. This is a ox cart factory that it runs on water and then the water moves all of this so that they can cut the wood like down here so that they can make the ox cart and this is one of the wheels that goes to the ox cart and this warehouse is like really old we said it was uh it's been 95 years running and that they've been doing it old-fashioned way like with that using water to move everything These are some of the wheels after they're decorated and painted. They paint them so that they can have like competitions with them and like who did the best. Like here's a, a giant one. Here's one of the carts. Hold on, let me go around. This is a really bad angle of this. This is one of the carts finished and they painted up all decorative. I don't know what this is. That's really cool. That's freaking good too. It's like ridiculously good. Hola. Hola. So that was them hand painting the cards. Here's another one. They hand paint all of the cards. And uh, the tour guide said that it was like a talent that's passed down through like their family. So that's how they know how to do it is because their family teaches them how to do it. We stopped in this park uh, right past the little factory thing so we could see this giant fucking ox cart. It is, the, I don't remember, do you remember how long he said it took him to make it? Six months to make this thing. It's fucking huge. I'm gonna like, yeah. just gonna kind of like sneak in here right quick.
San Jose. And tomorrow we're going to do whitewater rafting and then after that we leave. So we got two days left. Well, technically one technically one day left and then a flying home day. So we got back into San Jose and we're at this hotel and it's I don't remember what he said because I'm bad at listening, but it was supposed to be historical for some reason or another. God, I'm really bad at facts and things. Anyways, it's a historical hotel. It's really nice. And uh, that drumming that you saw, we got back from dinner and I walked to my door and uh, the we're on the fourth floor and the fifth floor is where you can like eat breakfast and dinner and there's shows. So I get to my door and I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? So I walk upstairs and that drum performance is going on. I'm like, this is the coolest fucking thing ever. So we sat there in the doorway and watched it for a while. <laughs> I don't know if we were supposed to be there, but we sat there for like the rest of the show and watched it. It was really long. I recorded a lot of it, but I didn't have that much because it would just, that would be the whole video. And yeah, and you saw that street that was fucking just terrifying. It was like New York or London. I realized by the end of the night when I'm ending this that I'm like, I don't think I've explained a lot of anything of what I'm fucking doing. Just like going from clip to clip, like, oh, here's the next thing, here's the next thing, here's the next thing. And I, there's, no, there's no explanation in between about what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to bed. And tomorrow we have whitewater rafting, which I've never done before. So, and I thought about the kayaking, never done before, kind of nervous. So I was like, that was easy enough. So this, it should be easy enough. Never done it. So I'm like, I'll probably be fine. Plus we are in a raft with like five other people. I think he said the max was six so that I'll have other people to do stuff with me. So I'm not like alone. All right. So I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow.